Tonight, guys, I'll be spending the night in jail. It's mapping something in the corridor, but if you notice in the corridor, there's nothing to map. Maybe is that you? Nope. <laughs> Again. Come back at the light. Can you answer one of those by by any of the device in the cell? Okay, answer those questions. I'll say them again. Did you run away? I want to see your mother happen. Oh, oh. If you forgave her, make the light go off. Flashlight. If you didn't forgive her. Oh. What? What, 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 what? Flashlight. Little boy? Oh. Little boy. Hey Ghost Riders, it's Exploring Holy. <laughs> you guys are in for a treat tonight. I'm in Dorchester, New Brunswick, Canada. I'm in the old Dorchester jail. This, day, this jail dates back to 1875 and was an active prison until 1998. So I won't tell you the story about this place. Here's Natasha, our host for tonight, because this place is also on Airbnb. So here's Natasha, our host for tonight, and she will tell you our story, the story about this place. Here's Natasha. So this cell block here is called the light side for a few different reasons. Uh, this used to house not overly uh, like violent criminals or anything like that. So it was two inmates per cell, uh, two cups, a toilet and a sink, and these guys were locked up for 20 hours of the day. Um, we have left all of the original artwork on the walls in the cells in this hallway here. Pardon me. <clears throat> and this is also our bed and breakfast. So people can come and spend the night here in an authentic 150 year old jail cell. Um, it's original artwork from inmates that were incarcerated here. Our guests are welcome to lock themselves in our cells in this hallway of the. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know what she means. <laughs> <laughs> She's crazy. She's crazy. <laughs> there you go, guys. Look at this. It's really beautiful. Well, look, all the beddings and the sheets and everything. It's. Yeah, especially if you didn't get along with your cellmate, right? Like 20 hours is a long time to be locked up with somebody you don't care for. Especially with a toilet and a sink in there. And they didn't get any outside time? Uh, so for the four hours that they were allowed out of their cells each day, um, they could come and use the telephone that's in the hallway here. They would have access into the yard outside and they could come back in the common area here and have a shower. They could wash up, they could play cards. The dartboard wasn't there, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but um, surprisingly enough, um, before the facility closed in 1998, inmates, um, trusted inmates, they were allowed to go into the yard and they were actually able to play horseshoes, which I thought was incredibly kind of weird because you could do some damage with one yep. of those. Yep. <laughs> stay up. <laughs> it makes a <laughs> right? heck of a weapon, like. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know it, but a horseshoe on the side of the head, you can do some damage. <laughs> yeah, you could really mess someone's day up. Um, there's a bunch of movie props and stuff throughout the building. The uh, forensics analysis sign up here, and there's a dentist light in the corner here. These are two props from the Saw movie, Saw 4. Um, Bill, my husband, he collects all kinds of different things. Lots of cool stuff. Lots of cool things. <laughs> we, we're trying our best to get them all up for display so other people can enjoy them as well. And so this is called the dark side for a few different reasons. It's obviously a little bit darker over here. Um, this is where the worst of the worst inmates were housed up until the death penalty was abolished in the early 60s. Uh, so from 1875 right up until about 1959, this is where the worst were housed individually for 23 hours of the day. Uh, the locking mechanisms on the doors in this hallway are a little bit more intense. Not only were they locked here, they were also padlocked up at the top here. Uh, these guys were actually forbidden to speak to one another. Uh, 
so what they would do is they used to knock on the walls to communicate. Still occasionally hear a little bit of residual knocking. Mm. <laughs> Which can be a little unsettling at times. Pat says there's no lights inside of the cells, just whatever natural light comes in through the windows here. And this one here is exactly what it would have looked like for the inmates. So prior to the death penalty being abolished, inmates could spend up to 10 years in this, in this cell here. And this is where I got stuck. Tonight, guys, I'll be spending the night in jail. I think I'm locked. <laughs> no. Yes. Yes. What? How do you feel? <laughs> feel better with the door open. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, for, for me personally, this hallway here is, is the least comfortable part of the building for myself personally. Oh, it's cold here. It's a little cold. The energy is a little bit heavier yeah. over here, a little bit, uh, um, yeah, it's, it's definitely a different vibe over in this hallway here. Um, so another reason why they call this the dark side is because right now we are actually directly beneath death row. So when they used to hang people inside of the jail, they would start upstairs and come through a little trap door in the ceiling here and actually stop right here where we're standing. So if you're in this hallway, you got to see and hear everything every time somebody was hung. And so if you were in solitary here or one of these two cells here, you got prime time spot and you got to see everything. But they didn't want the other six men in this hallway to feel left out. So what they would do is they would have the nurse come downstairs here she would pronounce the, the inmate deceased and then the guards would cut the rope that they were hung from. They'd place them on a gurney and then they'd wheel them off the hallway in front of these six guys, take them out into the yard and bury them basically right outside of their window. So there's a very good chance that if you were housed in this hallway, you were waiting to go upstairs yourself and be executed. So it's just a gentle reminder of what's about to come. Uh, I imagine if you ever did make it out of this hallway, you made sure not to come back. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't want to come uh, And then, so this was the hole here. <clears throat> it's just, it was just a concrete slab on the floor. There was no blankets, mattress, pillows, none of that. It was a completely dark room. Uh, there was no toilet in there, so they were given a pot to use and uh, they were fed bread and water for the up to two weeks that they could spend in here. I personally have tried to challenge myself just to stay two minutes in, even in the daytime down there with it. No. no. I'm like 10 seconds and my skin's crawling and I'm like, hey, yeah, that's good, that's good enough for me. And then this here, uh, this used to be a cell structure. It was cut out after an inmate had actually escaped and um, strangled a guard to death in the hallway here. Oh. oh. Uh, so in. And you see the bars. Escape, uh, around 1949. Oh. Um, so the death penalty was still fully, um, fully optional here at the jail. Mm -hmm. And uh, so he wasn't, the gentleman not escaped. He fashioned a rope out of his sheets and he was able to unlatch the lock and let himself out. And what he did is he waited around the corner here for the guard to come down and check on him. And when he came around the corner, he nabbed him with the rope and strangled him to death. Oh. Well, he has got his keys at the end of the hallway there, trying to figure out which key it was to be able to get out. And the other two guards that were upstairs, they heard the commotion with the keys and they knew it wasn't uh, wasn't usual for them to be making that much noise. And so they came downstairs and sure enough, the inmate was at the door there and the guard was laying here. And that guy was taken directly upstairs and hung on the spot. There was no court, there was no trial. They dealt with everything internally. I don't think I've heard that story. Yeah. Me neither. Yeah, I heard that uh, two years ago from an old guard that used to work up the penitentiary. Oh, that's just right there. Yeah. So did a lot of the guards who used to work here then go work at the pen? I believe so, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Whoa. See, so yeah, after, after hearing that. <laughs> so now, now um, putting pieces together, a lot of people have said that they hear like booted footsteps pacing up and down the hallways. It's just the guard doing his rounds of the building.
So that makes me feel kind of safe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you can hear the booted footsteps, and occasionally you can hear the sound of the jail keys jingling. Yeah. Now, for us personally, um, I, when I carry the keys, like you guys saw earlier, I carry them taut so that they don't make any noise. Mm -hmm. For me, it's like if I was trapped in eternity in a jail cell and I could hear the keys that are going to free me, I'd probably get quite upset. So out of respect for those guys, we carry them taut just so that they don't make a bunch of noise and kind of upset them. So nice. I understand that. Yeah, yeah. nice. Yeah. We try and be respectful. It was their home long before it became ours and, and we like to cohabitate nicely with them. So we, we do what we can to make sure that they they feel respected and, and seen and heard. So yeah. 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 yeah, it's cool. We've got a good balance. We want to keep that way. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So this here is our little like tribute thing to the Bannister brothers. Uh, this is the two boys and their mother. Uh, this is when their mother was actually incarcerated here in this jail. So she was actually in the first room in this hallway here. And then we have copies of their death certificates. And actually right here, it says that they're buried in the jail yard. So we asked the province, hey, we, we, we seen something and <laughs> no, no, there's nothing back there. Don't go digging around. That's mm -hmm. the government for you. Yep. Mm -hmm. and then this here is an arrest warrant from 1893. Uh, a gentleman owed a fine of $31.75. We found that upstairs in the attic. Well, um, that was a buttload of money back in 1893. Yeah. Uh, so he ended up coming to the jail here and he actually spent 40 days in the dormitory here. So this was one giant jail cell that used to house up to 30 men, and this is where all the non-violent petty offenders were housed. This is where the study Yes, yeah, and that, that's kind of a crazy story because he was downstairs in the dark side, he was down there for like a year on his best behavior so he could get transferred over into the light side. He was down in the light side for like six months and then he got transferred up here and the night he got transferred up here, he stabbed that guy to death. Mm. Imagine that. Like you must have really, really wanted after that guy to be yeah. on your oh, P's and yeah. Q's for a year and a half to come up here and get him. Like, yeah. what happened to him afterwards? <clears throat> he, was, he was taken, I believe he was taken to the penitentiary. Okay. After that, because that was after they abolished the death penalty. Oh, right. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, so this room was uh, 15 bunk beds and up to 30 men in here. Now this is where Hubby put some of his collection. Mm -hmm. The uh, the bench there, just underneath the window, that's a pretty incredible piece of history. Yeah, I was told that it's from India. It's uh, it's it's. Oh uh, uh, no, Israel. So, so it's uh, actually an underground railroad bench that was used during the 1800s to free the slaves. And um, oh. it's incredibly hard to imagine two or three people inside of this tiny space here. Wow, to get to freedom. Exactly, the things, the things we do, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, when the bench is flipped on its back and you can see underneath, it's, uh, it's a Bible. Oh, wow. It was made of a Bible like that came from Jerusalem. And guys? Many people, many um, African Americans, seek freedom here in Canada. Sure did. Sure did. Yeah. And so that's a, a pretty special piece. For wow, it's beautiful and great, pre great piece of history. And it predates the jail by about uh, twenty-five years. Wow. Yeah. Behind there now is our kitchen, but this actually used to be the guard's bubble. So they would have one guard sit here to watch the 30 men that were in here, and then they would have the other two guards do the rounds of the other cell blocks. Um, but now this is Hubby's Oddities collection there. It's a good Oddities collection. It is, yeah. What's this jar here? Uh, those are... <laughs> wow. This jar she was talking about. <laughs> so it, I was kind of mentioning too because of all the stuff that Bill has, this could really be a source of the energy coming out. Oh, through. a lot of it. And like I do find like 
the the more items that get brought into the jail, the energies come along with it for sure. Yeah. For sure. Good, bad, nice, not so nice. Yeah. It's in and out. Yeah. That's amazing. Just to have like real people, like those are real people. That's just like a the opposite, you know, like. Big. Everywhere, even from our experiences, you feel so. Yeah, and then and then with the bench, and then the the head <laughs> stairs, and <laughs> I think it was just a couple signs. Hem, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, these here are O.J. Simpson's clothing. Um, the guys are quite young, but um, so these are actually the clothing that he was wearing when he purchased the knife that was allegedly wink wink used in the murders. Um, so very conveniently, he was filming this movie called Frogman, and his character's name is Bullfrog. And while they were filming this movie, he was actually taught by a Navy SEAL how to execute somebody from Southern Air Throat from one end to the other. Mm. So that's exactly how they ended up passing away. Um, so yeah, we have a little piece of OJ here in jail where he belongs. <laughs> is this what Bill picked up? It is, Where did he yeah. pick it up? Um, he got that uh, online um, on the on the dark. Web. So those are his shoes. His shoes, his shorts, and his shirt. Crazy. Thing. Wow. And we actually found uh, video evidence on entertainment television last summer of him wearing this stuff. Oh. So, yeah. So just to have that extra prop box is very nice. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so this room that we're gonna head into now, uh, this was actually a female cell. So this room used to be attached to the room beside us here, and they'd have up to eight women in these two rooms here. Uh, mostly thieves, prostitutes, bootleggers, they were housed here for short periods of time. But this room, Mae Bannister was incarcerated in for six measly months. Um, she was supposed to be incarcerated for three years, but she ended only up serving six months. Um, so she was in here, so we call this our Mae Bannister suite. <clears throat> Just the mother of the boys. Yeah, the mother of the two boys that got hanged together. So, yes. After the six months, is she just let out free? Yeah. She, oh. Yeah, yeah, she was just let go. Yeah, sure. Wow. Right, and that's exactly how I feel. I'm a mother. I don't know how you take advantage of your, your mentally disabled children like that and, like, just go on and live your the rest of your yeah. life. Yeah, for me, those are the boys. Um, I do get a little bit of satisfaction out of knowing that she actually had to watch the whole 21 minutes while those boys suffered, and I hope it haunted her for the whole. Yeah, I hope it haunted her for the rest of her life. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Because it's because of <laughs> because of her, they got hung because she told them to go kill that man and steal the baby. Yeah, yeah, and then their their sister, she she she's partially to blame too because when the boys were leaving with the baby, pardon me, <clears throat> she had convinced them to set the house on fire, and in doing so, that's how the mother the, the and another baby ended up dying, um, outside in the cold trying to escape the fire. So wow, yeah. Yeah. that's cool. Uh, sister. Uh, she, she, um, like she ratted everybody out, so she got a, like a plea deal. Mm, she bargain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is the where Amelia said the portal to Abigail came. Yes, from. and when we first moved here, this room was part of the yoga fitness room, and there was a hundred and fifty pound punching bag that used to hang from the ceiling there, and it used to swing by itself all the time. Wow. Whoa. Like, you know, like I can't walk past that room, see that thing swinging, when I know I have to go into and through death row to get to the laundry room. That's not happening. Please, <laughs> <laughs> please take that down. <laughs> <laughs> right? yeah. yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah, this this room here, specifically that wall, um, my two and a half year old told me that that's where the portal that her friend comes through. Hmm. Abigail. Yes, Miss Abigail. So that, uh, yeah, that was, I, I wasn't scared or anything. It was just like, whoa, that's a, a portal. You, you can't barely talk. Like she was very speech delayed and everything. And then, yeah, this is where the portal is. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so. We, we do get a, a bit of activity in here. You get cold spots and stuff. And um, a lot of women, they, they tend to feel like nauseous in this room here. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I want uh, that thing hanging from the ceiling there. That high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Psyching me out. Psyching me out. Yeah. Yep. And then this here is death row. So when uh, when executions were performed, they would close and padlock this door here. They would also close and padlock this wooden door here. Sorry, we just got shifted us. And um, and this right here where I'm standing is where the executions were performed. So there used to be scaffolding that used to be in the ceiling here, and this is where the noose would hang from. And then there was a trap door in the floor here. So you come out of your cell, you stand here, the executioner puts the noose around your neck, pulls a lever, and down you go into the dark side where you just wow. So you got to see here everything. And if you were up here with somebody else, they got to see their feet too. Hmm. Yeah, so they house these guys up here for about 30 days prior to their date of execution. Just the green box on the floor, no blankets, mattress, pillows, none of that, because you could try and use those materials to harm or execute yourself, and they didn't want you doing that. And then if you were particularly violent, mental health risk, and escape risk, they put you in here. Oh, so that's why the, it's different. Yes, and it's also reinforced like that up in the ceiling as well, so they can't try and tunnel up into the attic and get them that way. I remember the bars go right on the ceiling. I, when I, the only and ever time I've been up there was with you guys, yeah. and I accidentally pushed the thing through the wall, through the ceiling. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that's from that? Yeah, yeah, I accidentally misstepped and pressed the pin down, so oh. yeah, a bunch of pins to reinforce so go, it. Yeah, those are for the metal. <laughs> Metal pin. Yeah, there's, there's a cage that just basically wrapped like it's oh, yeah. top. Yeah. Wow. You know what this is kind of um the body movements are odd to me. It kinda reminds me of, of hi Ernest. It kinda reminds me of someone who's like struggling. Somebody who's being who's getting hanged? That's what I was thinking, yeah. Me too. Some of these dangling for 21 minutes yeah. on the bottom of a rope. But the only thing is the rope didn't go down here. So why would it be showing down there? I don't know. Yeah, guys, I'm going to just remove my camera from the tripod here. I'm going to show you. Because Omar just set up an SLS camera. And uh, I'm sorry. That spirit. It's mapping something in the corridor, but if you notice in the corridor, there's nothing to map. Yeah, there's a cell door opening, but. But here, like, let's go. It's not mapping the cell door. I'm gonna go stand, because you can clearly see, like, you can see me, right? Yeah. And, like, the thing's going, like, like, is it mapping out my weird movements? Yeah, it is. Farah. Farah. F E R A. Maybe I'll put a cap on that. Yeah. So, the body is kind of where the light is. Try to figure out where these boys are buried. How's it going, folks? I don't know if that was you or not, but. Uh, probably. I just saw someone. Ivy. Ivy? I'm gonna put the cat ball over there. Yeah. yeah. Right here. That's me. And. Cry. Cry? Are you, are, were you crying because you. Nice. Ice eyes. Are you crying because you have your boys? Can you make one of those hat balls go off? It'll make 
Red and blue lights go off if you catch one. Suffer. Did you suffer when you got hanged? Uh, take my uh, battery pack. Where is it? It's right there on the ground. Oh. <laughs> Senses. Senses. We had that up upstairs. Mm -hmm. That's right. What do you mean by senses? You use your senses to communicate with us? I've put a light on the cell door. Can you open it, please? Just put your energy into it and turn it on. Aggressive. No, I'm not aggressive. Did you notice about the SLS? The spirit's not popping up now? Oh, no? Nope, he's not there anymore. He was, like, aggressively there. <sighs> he was aggressive. Mm, I didn't even notice that I said that. Oh my gosh, yeah. And the way his body movements were, it looked like he could have been potentially being aggressive with someone. Yep. And what if it was the inmate that strangled the guard? He was opposite. like... Opposite. Opposite. Or the guard who was... Strangled by... Being strangled. I'm going to show them the flashlight. Okay, I'm going to show you something. There's a light. Right there on the cell door. If you touch it, it will light up. There you go. Okay. This is beyond crazy right now. Our SLS camera is literally picking up an entity right now. So I've lit up the flashlight. Can you turn? Gamble. Gamble. Yes, flashlight a gamble. Here. Make the flashlight go off. Fully. Gamble with us and make the light go off. Why does it count? Thank you. Thank you. If, if did we find out who we're talking to right now? No. No. Nobody? If you're one of the boys, or even Abigail, can you appear on our SLS camera right now? That's actually going to map you out. It will show yourself to us. Can you do that for us, please? We're not going to hurt you. We want to show you to the world so people know you're still here. Or if you don't feel like showing yourself on the SLS, touch any of the devices. Humorous. Can you put on red light? No? No. Oh, I have a, well, oh. I can, I can shoot like this. No, yeah. I have a, I have a. Oh, it's all good, dude. Don't worry. I sure. got your camera as well. Yeah. Laugh? Is this funny to you? Can you appear for us, please, if you're one of the brothers? Uh, the pressure just changed on it. On the wood. NDI? Wood. What do you mean by wood? Oh. Thank you. Can you tell us who we're communicating with, who you are. Can you tell us your name, please? Pressure change. Yeah, I just saw it. Yeah. If you're May Bannister, can you appear on our camera? Just stand in the middle of the hallway for us, please. Oh my God. What? It, it just, the SLS, it literally. It's back. But it, it did it seconds after you said it. Seconds. May, yeah. is that you? Please stand at the- The attic. Can. Stand the best you can in the middle of the hallway, please. 
Are you in the attic, mate? Is that where you hide? Oh God, the, flashlight. the flashlight just turned on. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. Okay, we'll be quiet. We're sorry. We're a little bit excited. Can you turn off the flashlight if it's you, mate? May Bannister, if it's you, can you turn off the flashlight, please? My camera is blurry. Okay. All the way. Thank you. So May Bannister, was it, was Sit. it? Sit. Yes, we're sitting. We're all sitting. May, we will give you a hundred dollars if you are willing to talk about your side of the story and tell us exactly what happened. We'll even pay you some money. Yeah. We, you wanted ransom money, you wanted money. Yes. We'll give you all the money you want. Just please appear for us in the middle of the hallway and show yourself to us, okay? This is crazy shit. Someone is right there. Mm -hmm. Someone is standing in the middle of the hallway. No man. No. No man, we had that word. We had that word upstairs. What does it mean? The thing is, the- I, I don't remember. Oh, 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 someone appeared. Manic, is that you? Nope. <laughs> Again. Oh, I'm under the light. Yeah. T thank you. <laughs> okay. So now that we're on the same terms, why did you make your boys do what they did? Amaze. Yes, we're amazed. But we want to know why you made your boys do that. Thank you. Goodbye. No, please stay. Why? We want to talk to you. Why don't you want to talk to us? Because we're on their side. Wow. Uh, because we're on the side of the law? Is that it? I just came up from the SMS again. Abigail. If, if that's you, can you appear in the hallway, please? We're just trying to see who this is. And can you stand there for about five seconds for us? Who's Kenneth? Were you an inmate here? Insectum. 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 I know, we need to get a dictionary. Yeah. A Roman dictionary. A Latin dictionary, yeah. Abigail, can you please stand in front of the in front of the camera here, over by the open door. I picked you up last time, okay? Same thing goes. Just stand there so we know it's you. Keep getting the sense that someone's behind us. You got a POV rolling there anyway, so... I'm very fixated on that right now. I don't think we're talking to the boys for... No, we're not. Or me. Love. Locked. This one. Oh, this one. Oh. Hey, I got locked in the in the cell. Can you can you close the cell and lock it for us? Don't mind the flashlight on it. Don't worry about it. If you want to close the door and lock it, do it. Look at this cell. This is the only locked cell that we're not able to open. 
Are you in the locked cell behind us? Flashlight just turned on. Didn't they saw it? Thank you. Thank you. Wow. So is that confirmation? Are You're you all good? We're all good. Orb. Thing is, we're all good. Like, who are we talking to right? One sec. Is. Can you turn the flashlight off if you are in the cell that's locked behind us? Flashlight. Yeah, just. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh my gosh. Something's so, right there right now. We should put something. Um, here, hold this. I got a K2 Side. and a POV. I got I a POV. Can, my hand can get in deep enough. I just want to put something in that we can't get out. We are gathering. Yeah, I know you are. You're gathering. Shot again after. Here, you know what? I got my key too as well. Thanks. You put it somewhere you can get it because if it falls too far, Ohms, you can't get it. It's not gonna fall. It's flat. Oh, Murray, someone can push it. Uh, I got it. There's a POV on the tripod. Need to use? Move it, that's cool. No, I just wanted to uh, zoom in over there. Devices for you that's in the locked cell. Do I have it? There's a little triangle on the bottom of the like floor in the cell right there. Yeah. Benjamin. Benjamin. Hello, Benjamin. Welcome. How does the uh, triangle work again? On. The knob is on the other side? Is the, the, the knob on the other side? I think so. Okay. If you go on the... Children are heard. Children are heard. If you go on the left side, it's gonna that light... Was that was her. That was her. I think it's Abigail. Okay. If you go on the left side, it's gonna light up red. This thing just moved. Really? Yeah. I, Frito. Oh my god, this POV literally moved. Frito. If you go on the right side, it's going to light up green. Do you understand? Can you go and touch it if you understand? What would you get that cold breeze? Yeah. That was me. That was you that had the cold breeze? No, that was me that just moved. Would you like me to show you how to use it? Make something go off if you want me to show you how to use it. Grandmother. One second, I Are you looking for your grandmother? Can you touch one of the devices in the corridor if you want Chelsea to demonstrate? So if you touch it to make it go green like how it is now, that will mean yes. And if you touch it or go near it on the other side to red, that can mean no. Investigate. That's right. Yes, that's right. That's what we're doing. Yes. So it's going to reset itself. That's and me. once it resets, I want you to touch it if you understand how to use it. It's going to flash blue. When it's going to, there you go. Now it's reset it. Can you show us that you understood how it works? Please. Don't be afraid. Everything here is harmless. It's just going to tell you that, tell us that you're here with us, okay? Exactly. Pain. Are you in pain? Wonderful. Yes, it's wonderful, but are you in pain? If you are in pain, you can use a triangle to, to show us that yes or no. Are you in pain? Oh, the flashlight turned on. Thank you. But can you come here and touch the triangle, please? 
If you understand how the triangle works, can you turn off the flashlight? Cave. Cave, Cave again? So we got the live stream. Yes. Someone did say maybe the cave had something to do with the hole, which is right to the left. Right side. there. That's the hole. Do you want us to go into the hole? If so, make any device go off. Do you want me to go in the hole? Turn off the flashlight if you want me to go in the hole. Oh, this light just turned off. What? This really? light. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Okay, I'm going. So. But wait, I, wasn't this light red? No, that was that was. No, yours. I'm, I, I think we have to try and figure out if we at one point where the boys are buried because soon. We picked off last time we were so close to where the boys are buried. Yeah. That's what we need to find. I think we might get like a lot more information doing either like a dowsing session or an Estes method or something along those lines to figure out if we can get more information on where they vary. Yeah. So like my main thing was like, who are we talking to right now? Now. If they got any sort of messages. No. That is where my mind's at right now. The so. flashlight's off now. Yeah, because I asked if I wanted me to go in the, I'm going to oh. do something in the hole, but do something. There it is. I'm in the hole. What you say. Yes. Can you come near me, please? Can you come and touch that light I have in my hands? Can you see the K2 on my camera? Keep the camera on. Oh. We will. As long as you listen to us, we'll listen to you, okay? Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, good. All you gotta do is let us know who we're talking to right now and what you want, okay? So we'll start with your name. Okay, this cell doesn't lock. That's it, correct. It needs a padlock. Um, guys, just said Fagel. Were you one of the people executed here? Come and touch that green light I have in my hands. Touch it if you're one of the people executed right above us right now. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. I'm really a nice person. I just want you to touch that light I have in my hands. It's going to show me that you're here with me. Please. If you're one of the boys, can you touch that? Feel free to also appear on our cameras or stand in the hallway behind us. Honestly, we'll appreciate anything. I affect the animals. Pack hair. I affect the animals. There's one cat that was a cat, there. and she sometimes the cat will like look around. And... Whoop. <laughs> Are you making me fart? <laughs> <laughs> Like, that's not me just dropping my hey, ass to it. It said early, earlier, laugh. That's right. It so, did. It did. did I make you laugh by cracking that joke? Did, touch any of the devices, please. Please. We just want to talk to you. If there's anybody, anybody. Imber. Like I N B E R. Is there somewhere else you want us to go? Please tell us and we'll go. We're going to respect you. This is your home. 
We're just a guest in it for the night. Exactly. Phager. Phager. Whoa. That's spelled with that. Gaelic? It's like a weird letter number. It's like a backwards E and a normal E. Mm, old English. Yeah, that could be old English. Old English, yeah. Are you speaking Old English? Can you touch that green light in my hands if you're talking Old English? English from the 19th century. Italic. Italic. Wow. You know what's odd is I haven't been seeing like the stick figure come up on the SLS camera. The way it was coming up before, it was like very present. It's like I feel something. I feel like a coldness here. That's me. I feel like a coldness, but I don't know. It's kind of like the energy migrated somewhere. Yeah, literally. Do you want us to move elsewhere? Because I don't feel tired anymore. Mm -mm, me neither. You know how we were feeling drained upstairs and... Yeah. We might have to move and we'll come back maybe and try and catch this anomaly. Yeah. That seems yeah. to pop up. Go left. Go left. I was... My left, left was this way. No, but... Or was it talking to you, Jeff? Oh. Oh. Oh my God, the REM pod's going off right now. So are you talking to me to go left? Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna go left, like you She's asked? Here. She's here. And the light just turned on, the light just turned on. No way. She's here, it's either Abigail or the mom. All right. You can uh, fold the, the legs if you just press on the freaking, yeah. No, just push on it. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Okay. You okay, Charles? It's good? <gasps> what, 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 what? It flashed. Can you touch that green light again, please? The flashlight's going crazy. You just asked, it, it's cold here. You asked me to go left. I'm left. I'm right here. It's cold. Please, can you touch that green light in my hands? Did anyone just hear the music? No. I just heard music, like a music box. Can you come and touch that green light in my that green light in my hands? I feel that you're you're here with me. There you go. Whoa, whoa! Please, can you touch it again? Just come in front of it, please. Don't want to move it. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I'm just on the edge. I'm just on the edge. Okay, okay, okay. Come, come near that light. Come near that green light right here, please. I know you're here. You told me to go left. I'm left. Please. Okay, I'm gonna turn it around. I move it slowly because I don't want... Maybe it's... If you're one of the inmates that spent time in here, one of the inmates that was in the hole, can you please do your best to touch that device? It will not harm you. Lay your hand on it. I don't want to scare you. <laughs> you nice. won't scare me, don't worry. You won't scare me at all, okay? Just touch it, please. Don't worry, you won't, you, you're, you're not scaring me. Want me to move it? Right here? Please? Come on, I know you touched it. Arthur, we came in contact with you before earlier. Can you Favor, yes, we're asking you a favor. Yeah, well, I'm asking for a favor. And guess what? I brought you a toy. If you want that car, you have to come and touch my light. 
Just put your hand over it right here. Please. Prius. Prius. That's a car. <laughs> and I think it might say a Prius, like a priest. Like right? a priest, yeah. I had a couple of. We might have to move. The energy seems yeah. to have subdued. Mm -hmm. The energy's. What? What does that say? What? This is Sit Allison. And listen. Skeletons. Sit and listen. Where do you want us to sit and listen? Sit and listen, skeleton. There we go. You have many devices all around. He's here. He's here. He's here. Daniel or Arthur, are you here with us right now? Yeah, who is here? Is it Arthur or Daniel? Put a cat over here. So, boys, That's me. we set something up here for you. We have both of your pictures and one device that's laying in front of each of your photos. If you can tell us who we're talking to by making that device go off in front of your photo, that would be great. So, touch your picture. Whoever we're talking to, go touch your picture. Daniel, are we talking to you? If so, go towards your photo. Or Arthur, are you here with us right now? If so, go touch right near your photo. I'll show us that you're here. Air. The temperature has gone up a lot. It was 555. Five, five, yeah. And now it is 564. We have devices in here as well, okay? Just the same thing. It won't hurt you, it's just gonna communicate with us. Okay, so, Daniel, I want you to give Arthur some time to speak, okay? Beautiful. Beautiful, great. And probably because we didn't really introduce ourselves, I know that you know already my friend Leomar in Chelsea. My name is Jeff. Actually, it's really is Jean-Francois. But everybody, all my friends call me Jeff. So there you go. My name is Jasmine. Talisman. Talisman. My name is Lamar. You probably remember me. And I'm Charles. And if you guys remember. Last time we were here, we wanted to figure out where you were buried, okay? This isn't for anything that's gonna harm you or do anything to your name. That's been in, these, in this town forever, okay? We just personally wanna know where you're buried. And we wanna know where you're buried. Do you wanna scare you? No, you no not really. Thank you, flashlight. We, we wanna know where you're buried because we think that you guys deserve recognition of where your resting place is. We understand that you were innocent in all of this and it wasn't your fault. So Natasha and Bill here, the owners of this jail, want to Thank give you, you a proper place. Can you help us give you a proper place for your resting? We want to we want to help you cross over. We want to get you closure. If even go say a prayer on your tomb so you can go to the light. Arthur, are you able to answer my question for me? 
I want to know what you were feeling being the youngest. Did you not want to do it? If you didn't want to do it, can you touch any of that equipment that you see in the cells? It can be yours or your brother's. Okay? If you were forced and did not want to do the crimes that you did, please touch one of them the best that you can. Any devices. Eli. We really want to speak to the Bannister brothers. We're open to speaking to the other spirits and souls here, but we're really hoping to speak with the Bannister brothers tonight. Arthur and Daniel, please. We want to help you. Do you want help? Do you? Do you hear that? That was my stomach. Come on, it sounded like it's like the cell kind of moved. No, it's my my stomach felt. <laughs> that sounded like creaking. Yeah, I know, but <laughs> it was my my belly. <laughs> it was my belly. Come into my belly. <laughs> Fat bastard. <laughs> Daniel or Arthur, if you want help, can you please make any device go off? Anything at all. Whenever you have the energy to do. If you want help with closure to help you pass on. Any device. Yes, yes. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Do you want to pass it on? Do you want us to help you pass on? I don't know if you are believers, but I don't know if you want to go see God, but for that, we have to help you pass. So the temperature from 55 to 57. Two degrees. Gain two degrees since we're here. Wow. We settled here. Did you hear that, Tommy? Yeah. That was yeah. Something, something, just, something just touched this. Yeah. May, did you just touch that? Did you touch your picture, May? May Bannister, didn't you touch your picture? Make the light go off. That was you, May. You must know where your sons are buried. But even in our live stream, though, on the live stream said, where are my kids or I can't find my kids or something. When where are my children or something like that, yeah. What if, what if May can't find them? She hasn't found them because they just like, screw my mom for doing this. I don't want to see my mom in the afterlife. You know what I'm trying to say right yeah. now? Yeah. What the... Daniel or Arthur, thank you for communicating with us. Can you answer my question, please? Do you not want to talk to your mom or see your mom in the afterlife? Have you ran away or anything like that? Can you answer one of those by, by hitting any of the devices in the cell? Okay, you can answer any of those questions. I'll say them again. Did you run away? Or do you not want to see your mother in the afterlife? Oh, holy crap! Oh, oh my God! Thank you, Arthur. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you, Arthur. So that's a yes. Yep. Arthur, do you understand what your mother did to you? Make it go off if you do an action. 
You want to do a pact? Or is that where's the rampod? Rampod. You want to do a pact? Is that it? Do you want to do a pact with us to help you pass over? To get through the light? To go say a prayer on your tomb? If it's that, can you touch any of the devices, please? It will show us that you want help to cross over. Harold. Harold. Did your mom knew somebody that was named Harold? Please, boys, we want to help you. And it wasn't you. It, 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 no, that, it wasn't moving. Even though you just knocked your foot on the ground and nothing went off. Look. I was standing still. I know. So these boys do not want to see their mother. That's they don't? Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't either. Which makes sense because our live stream, which is still up to this very moment, the spirit box said that. No! It's a REM pod. Said that they didn't want to. Said that, um, I think it was May saying that she can't find her sons or her children because they. That makes so much sense now. This is blowing my mind. Are you. Do you. I think we're going to Do you forgive your mother? I wouldn't if I were you, but. Me neither. I don't know. It's been some time. You guys have passed. Do you forgive her? It's okay if you didn't. If you forgave her, make the light go off, the flashlight. If you didn't forgive her. <gasps> what? What, 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 what? Flashlight. Little boy around you. Little boy? Oh, little boy. So you forgave oh. your mom. Okay. This could have been Arthur, though, because... You're not... Oh, my God. Or Daniel. Someone's strong right now. Someone's really strong. My eyes are, like, heavily watering. Um, okay. You forgave your mom. That's really big of you. Yeah. But you're still not around her. So are you at peace with what happened? What I'm picking up is that, like, they... They're not upset with their mom anymore. They don't want to hold a grudge, but they're, they want to move on from it and they're at peace, but I don't, I don't know, I don't, I don't understand. It's like they come and go. Yeah. They really come and go. Where are you guys right now? You're not with us right now. Where'd you go? Scratch. Oh, you can't scratch us. No. You're not, we're not here to hurt you, so we don't expect you to hurt us. We don't want to get hurt, okay? Scratch us. Look at what he's doing in his photo. His comb is here. Which could also maybe... Yeah, probably scratch. scratching or... Yeah. yeah. They're not going to hurt us. No one here will hurt us. At least these boys won't. We don't hurt. want to hurt you. We're nice people. We just want to help you cross over. Okay? Do you even want to cross over? Make the light go off if you want to cross over. We're hiding. I know. Yeah. It's a lot at once. They may not be in the cells much. They may just be somewhere else or... Don't be afraid. Nobody is here to harm you. We are friends. I have two kids at home. I have a boy and a girl. If some of us go alone in different areas, are you able to, do you feel more comfortable communicating that way? Do you want us to go alone? Do you want to talk to any of us alone, I mean? If you do want that, we will 
spend time alone with you in, in different parts of this jail, okay? Just touch one of the devices for a yes. Any device, if you want us to go alone in different parts of the jail. Flashlight, yep. Yeah. What? This is Abigail. They had the mentality of six and seven year olds. Yeah. Spirits also have the option when they pass to choose an age that they want to be. If they had the mentality of a six year old, for them, they're six. Brother! Brother! You're with your brother. Which brother are we talking to right now? Can you go towards your picture? You move back so it does. Uh... Go towards your picture. And move back, Daniel. If it was you. Can you show us who it is? Sound like boots. Yeah. Are you the guard that was killed? That was killed by the inmate that escaped downstairs. Are you walking around? Same goes for you. Touch the devices. Any of them for a yes. Well, it's them. It's them. It's yeah. them. It's them. It's them. Soul boys. Soul boys, it's you. Right? Can you confirm? Any device. Thank you. Flashlight. They really like the flashlight. You like that light, right? Can you turn it off? Oh, yeah. That 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 could have been useful, right? Can you turn it off, please? Hey. Thank you. Hey say? over here. Hey over here. Where are you? Make a noise wherever you are. My stomach. Oh, uh, oh my God! I just saw someone peek from behind that wall. On my life, someone just peeked from behind that wall. Back there? Yeah. The camera won't focus. Yeah. No, like seriously, like on my life right now. Can you show yourself again, please? Hey, over here. Holy shit! Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh my God. Ship. Ship? Ship. What? Ship. It's not really a ship down. No, we're not really in water. Did I just see somebody? Oh my god, I guess that's not a racing out of my mind. Like it just went that way. Tell me who I just saw right now. Tell me who peeked around the corner. I think somebody just touched my camera. I heard a tick. Yeah, I heard a tick too. Yeah, and so. the way I'm holding my that. camera, like, I'm not. It's all right. No. Can you do a clear knock somewhere on the wall or in a cell door? Kind of like this. Or you can do this. I heard that last time, okay? Someone did that down in the dark side to me last time. 
So can you do that again? Hmm. You heard that. I heard that. Was that? Go left. Go left. Our left is here. Your left is there. Your left is the cell. Our left is yeah. Are you in the cell? Go in it. I'll describe the device in there too, okay? I'm actually going to go in here. Yeah. You can spend time with me. The device in here is the same thing. If you touch it, it will go off, okay? Don't fully close it, but... No, no, just uh, leave it like that. <laughs> so the device in here, okay, it's the same thing. If you go on this side, if you go on this side, it'll turn red, which means no. I'm agitated. If you go on this side, it'll be green. That means yes. So that'll help us, that'll help you talk to us with yes or no questions. Be careful on the bed. Okay? Yeah. That's not like a message from me, it's a message from something else. Blow your, bro, your blurry. Yeah. Something's upset with you being on the bed. And it's not, it's not the boys. I understand, just give me a moment right here. I'm a little sad. <laughs> if you're upset with me, just give me a moment, okay? If you really knew me, I was a, I'm a really nice guy. The camera won't focus on you. Are you serious right I'm now? serious, bro. Now it's focusing because uh, Charles shined the light, but even though I was zooming on you and it wasn't focusing. I have an idea. How about Charles, you focus on that cell? We'll do what we were just doing. So the light's not. Will that go blurry if the light leaves? No, probably not. Now we, I'm focused on you. Because I'll go fully IR here and with that red light, shall you focus and ask questions there, maybe oh. on the other side. And I have my camera on that side also. So. Also, just a heads up, we're almost at an hour already. Okay. Oh, just a uh, pressure change on the EDI. All right, there is I call again, sorry. <laughs> French. Arthur, is this where you sat? In the corner here? Fortune. For some reason, my back is getting insanely cold right now. I'm gonna go in here. It's like I'm leaning against a cooler with a that those lights might light because I'm gonna step here. It might vibrate. There we go. Thank you. Can you do that again, please? Are you upset that I'm I'm in your I'm in your cell? Yes, we want to know where are they. We want to know where you're buried, so we can go and say a prayer, so you can pass over. If you want to. Do you want to pass over? Everything here is harmless. Everything here is to help us communicate with you. Yeah. 
sit right here. There we go. Me over here, it's freezing. Okay. Yep. You know what's weird? I feel like my back is leaning towards a, a giant ice pack. It's frozen. Wow. Can you show me again that you're with me in here? Can you touch that red light? On the ground? Please? Or touch this yeah. prism right here. Throw. Do you want to throw something? Just don't throw the cameras. Please. <laughs> Please. Those are expensive. Throw everything else, don't worry, but not the cameras. Okay? That is, that is many, many, many money. We'll talk to you like we talk to little kids. It's very, very lots of money. Arthur, are you, are you making me feel like you were feeling before you were executed? Or, in better words... Murdered? Murdered? Or hanged? Are you giving my friend Lomar anxiety, the same kind of anxiety you had before being executed? Bro, if you're too uh, affected, get out. Mm -hmm. Guess what? Come here. Can you guys do me a favor? Oh, that's me. That's me. Uh, when I get up, I want you to feel my back and, and feel how cold this is, okay? The second time that wasn't me. Ready for this? Oh, 1900s. Right away? Yeah. Feel my back. Like right here. It's freezing. Right there. It's oh freezing. Okay. Cold. I'm gonna take the place. I'm gonna take the place of my friend. Right here. Oh. Okay. There you go. Straight up freezing my back. So why do you don't like people sitting on your bed? Can you come near me and Can you come near me and touch that light right in front of me, that little ball? That would be muchly appreciated. I can't lie, this is Arthur's cell. I think he's in it. <laughs> you know, mine, it's what, 12 o'clock? So this, they would be sleeping in right now. Yeah. They'd be getting ready because it's 2.30 when they were home or something. Yeah, but it's not on the same day that they're hung. It's near the time that you got hung. Are you... Are you stressed? Are you afraid? I insist. Yes, I insist a bit, because we want to help you. We want to establish a communication with you. Please, Arthur, what is it? Colin? Colin. Are you looking for a Colin? Right. So guys, now it's has this method time. So I'm going in. Your brothers are here. Can you give us any sort of food where you're buried? To me? It brought
break. Are you talking about the president that broke out? Mom? Mom? Good boys. Are you looking for your mother? It's you? We aren't your mom. Is... Are we talking to the Bannister brothers? Baby? Oh. Do you know... Are you talking about the Lake family? Mom? You understand what your mom made you do? It's me. It's who? Baby? Are you talking about the baby that you tried to steal? Do right? How do you want to do right? You regret what you did? It's me. Can you tell us your name? Is it Daniel or Arthur? Can you tell us where you're buried? The wrecker? The wrecker? The wrecker. Daniel or Arthur, we tried to look for you in the yard, okay? Can you give us a, a general area as to where you two are buried? Do your best. Amy, friend? Are you buried in the fence? Are you buried in the dandelion? To me? Are you buried in the dandelion? Couldn't make it. Are you buried before the dandelion? We also have a flashlight next to Jet. If you want to turn that on and off, go for it. Let us know that you're with us, okay? If you feel like you can't get a voice out, turn the flashlight on and off. For yes or no. Oh my god! I heard a crazy laugh! Are you buried inside or outside of the yard? The street? What about the street? Can you tell us where your sister is? Baby again. You gave your sister the baby, didn't you? Where did your sister go? Where is she now? Couldn't make it. What couldn't you make? Every day. I heard. Do you know the name of the family? 
That's not nice of you, okay? Don't okay. speak to us like that. Who are we talking to? After you? I just spoke to... Read the something? I just spoke to the Bannister brothers. Can we speak to them, please? Mother? What's your mother's name? Who are, Who are you? It's them? My name is Lamar. I'm Chels. And Jeff is the one with the headphones on. That's who we are. We're, we're, we're just trying to communicate with, with people relevant to the jail. Okay? How are you? I'm good. How are you? Doing good. Are you doing good? Can you tell us who we're talking to? Give us a name. Ready? Yeah, we're ready for your name. We're listening. Inside? Inside? Where is it? Inside. Where are you inside? Are you going into the jail too? This guy again? Can you give us any name of who we're talking to? You have to have a name. Even a nickname. Hey! Lega, the boys. The boys, right there. Wow. These are the boys, right? The boys are here with us right now. Please verify. No. About nine. Give us something to work with here. It's been 11 minutes, but he popped in at like a minute or two, so I'll give him another minute. Let's go. Where do you want to go? Premier, the first. Salut. Hello. Salut. Salut. Are we talking to me or Abigail? We are. Oh. How's that, man? Oh. Some words were coming, but like they were so loud like they were yelling Ugh! and i couldn't make the words but some of them were clear we heard it from the earphones man and like, <laughs> oh, yeah, and i had mummy mother baby yeah, we, baby, baby. Uh -huh. whoa yeah, yeah that was at weird, the start weird. it was like we were talking with the banister brothers and then it kind of like went to someone else and then back to the Bannister Brothers, someone else. Did Ramp on or flashlight? No, nope. No, no flashlight. Nothing. Spirit Talker wasn't even on. Nah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. 
you're seeing some pretty wild stuff, man. That mm -hmm. with the baby and the the, the baby, mom. the mom. Yeah, that was the boys. You yeah. said the boys. The les garçons. It was les garçons. But you translated it. Was it was right? clear. Oh. Les garçons. So you translated. I translated. When I say French, I always translate right after, so you guys can understand it. But I heard when I say when I talk in French because I heard it in French. It was French that was coming through. Wow. It was wow. les garçons, the boys, and I had so, I, I said something else in French. I said two or three words in French, and yeah, wow. So now we have my friend Lomar under. So just like me, can you talk to him? All right, so I can't hear nothing right now. So we're talking to the Banisto boys again. Hello? Hello? Hmm. Hello? Bonjour. Are we talking to the Banisto boys? Call me. Call you what? Good boy. Who's a good boy? Are we talking to Daniel or Arthur? Again. Again. What do you mean by kids? It's us. Who's us? Oh my god, like they're trying to get my attention, someone's attention. Who's us? Is it Arthur? Is it Daniel? No. Arthur! There's no way it, it, it just said Arthur. Well. Hello, Arthur. Well. So Oh my god. Were you the one that were calling your mommy? Sit up. Who, who do you want to sit up? Who you want to sit up? Girl or boy? Shh. Do you want who do you want? I think it's telling telling us to shush. Okay. Do you do you are you gonna go make some noise? By the bed. Yeah. Are you gonna go in the pat in, in the hallway? My tante. Your haunt? No, my tante. You're looking for your aunt? Who's your right next to you? Who are you right next to? Are you next to me or my friend Chelsea? Hey. Hey, hello. Is it Daniel? Or is That's it what? What? Said like what? Is it the voice sounded like is it you, Daniel? Desolatio. That's like desolation. Okay. Table. Can you make the flashlight Table. go on? Table. Can you make the flashlight go on? The flashlight sure. on the... Yeah, go ahead. Put all your energy into it and open it up. Do you want some help? Do you want me to turn it on and you're gonna shut it off? Oh, it just got cold over me. Right here. If you're near my friend, can you touch the flashlight, please? That flashlight? Okay, I'm gonna give you a hand. I'm gonna open the flashlight and I want you to turn it off, okay? There you go. Okay. Genevieve. Genevieve. Attic. Attic again. Okay, now the flashlight is on. Can you turn it off? Oh, well, it's really cold. It's like a weird breeze right here. Can you shut the flashlight off, please? Got him. Yeah. Turn it off. All the way. 
Come on. Take your energy out of it, please. Come on. No, I don't want you to turn it on. Turn it off. Come on. Earth. Thank you. What do you mean by Earth? Do you want us to go find your... What? Birds. Coming. Here you go. Who's coming? Thank you for the flashlight. In. Who turned on? To you in. Coming down. Who turned on the flashlight? Coming down the steps. Salut. Salut. Hello. Thank you for the flashlight. Is it Daniel? Mm. It's sound like. Salut. I just have 7% of battery left. Yep. Mom. You're looking for your mom? Is it Daniel or is it Arthur? Is it Daniel or Arthur? Or... Oh, it's like weird music box stuff. It sounds like an antique box of wind-up toys. Play the weird lullabies. Whoa. Did you love when we had that music box playing that music upstairs? Whoa. Well, You're looking for your mom. Let's see. Wow, flashlight at the same time. So you're looking for your mom. Yeah. Oh. Mama's home. Mama's home. So you found your mom. Your aunt. Can you come in? Is it is it your aunt that could have raised you? Instead of your thank you. So your mom was so bad to you, it was your aunt that raised you. Is that it? I. Do you mean I like, does Scott say hi to say yes? Is that it? Yeah. Oh my God. So your aunt raised you. But your mother made you made those bad things. Is that it? Sinus. Over now? Yeah, it's over now. Oh. What do you mean by sinus? Do you sign do you find me cynical? I just want to understand. And I think that. I found out that. Here. Where? Where do you want me to go? Come. Yes, I will go, but where? Thank you for the flashlight. Come, a little weird like antique lullaby music. Wow. Like, antique boxes. Where do you want me to go? How do you feel? Feel good. How do you feel? Finally. Finally. It's a woman's voice. Finally. May, is it you that found your your boys? Did you finally found your boys, May? Me. Yes, you, May Bannister. Did you find your boys? Guys, I'm at 5% Apple. battery. Apple. Apple. What do you mean by apple? Do you consider yourself a bad apple?
Thank you for the flashlight. Yo, there is weird opera music and uh, antique finger. Think? Whoa, that was clear finger. Wow. When I was under Whoa, the headset. Weird. Yes, two men. Tapped into a dimension of some sort. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna take. <laughs> More opera singing. I'm gonna take him out. Oh, I got shivers. That's me. That's me. It's me, it's me. Spirit Talker just said two men here. And I think I found out that the Bannister boys was, were raised by their haunt instead of their mom. Their aunt. You said haunt, my tante. My tante. That's an haunt. Yeah, it's an aunt. So, and I asked, did you got raised by your, your aunt because your mom was too bad? And the flashlight turned on. Silex. Silex. And I readjusted the flashlight. I, I showed them how to use it. And it was going on and off. Really? Yep. Okay, because it was weird because it didn't go off for you. So they yeah. And I, I, I have like 4% battery left. Bro, there was, it's like I entered a weird dimension. It's, it's like it was... And guess what? The opera, I was hearing it too. You were? Yep. Because it was almost like it. it was <gasps> like, like that? It was, yeah, it was like. Ch -ch 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 -ch. And then all of a sudden, it's almost like it went just into a weird tunnel. Like, it's like I entered some sort of dimension. Like, yeah. They were like, off, it sounded like a radio in this place. It was. Were you hearing those voices really f far in the back? Yeah. <laughs> just turn on. <laughs> Thank you. And the fla the ramp pod, nothing. And I, I, it said, come here. And you said, come, come. And I said, where? And you said, come. Oh. And he said, two men here. We're two, two guys. Yeah, there, there, was there was definitely more men. Yeah. A woman would pop in every now and then. And Thank you for the flashlight. Well, I'm gonna run out of battery and I'm just barely at the 30 minute mark. Bro, that was weird. That I, was weird. I don't so. usually run into it, like do Estes methods, but that was actually trippy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they were teenagers when they were hung. The two Bannister boys. They were teenagers. Basically, even if he was 21. He's based practically a teenager again. Wow. This is also for you, okay? This is for you guys, the boys. Arthur and Daniel. This is from 1907. Okay. And I choose it for you guys. Oh. oh. Do you like that? You like that car? I choose it for you guys. We went to an antique store and I found that car. And I found it really cool for you. And I thought that you would like it. And I think you like it. You like it? Yes, this is your home now. Along with Bill and, and Natasha. Why don't you shut the flashlight off if you like it? This is for you guys. Have it. You can have it and on, you man. deserve it and brother, 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 <laughs> guys, I think we're going to pull the plug on this one because it is insane, but Wow. Thank you so much for communicating with us and giving us Dominatio. Dominatio, like that. And we have sin, like cynical, cynis, uh, uh, like cynics. Yeah. yeah. So. 
Nah, I don't know how to be cool. Brother. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're going to wrap this up tomorrow. You guys, we're going to try to check if we can't find... Um, Chelsea's going to attempt to douse with her dousing rods. Try to find where it, exactly you saw it, right? Yeah. yeah. So right there, guys, if you see on the ground, you see depressions on the ground. And I, I'm pretty sure those could be... And especially that big depression right there could be the coffin because it's the most important one and the boys were buried and they're the only one that were buried in the coffin and you want to know something yeah. even sadder is they actually dismembered one of the boys so yeah. They one coffin. yeah so they can so, fit both them in one are you able to explain like your theory my that? theory is because back in the day it, so they so they won't scare um well some of the prisoners were really um, uh, superstitious. And having bodies buried in the yard could have uh, prevent some prisoners of going in the yard. So sometimes they would bury the prisoners or the dead right outside of the walls or right outside of the, the fence. So the prisoners, it would be a gruesome reminder of yeah. what would happen if you commit a... a more severe crime than the one that you commit and it, it is written and it is recorded that the boys after their hanging were buried behind the jail so this would be in my opinion the 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 land of the jail because over there you get, you have a fence and that fence would separate the the land of probably that owner over there from the property of the jail and this here would be in my opinion and see if you're standing out here see if I can see you because I don't know if they'd be able to see them being buried right in the yard you know so it, it would prove that they would be buried kind of you see where my brain's going because the dark buried. side is right there and they remember yeah. Natasha said that they would be able to see them burying them yep. while they're in their cell. Exactly. Yeah. So right so like there. Even right here, you can kind of see a row of uneven ground. And especially right here, you see that the, the ground is more depressed than those other spots. So those other spots could be bodies, like Natasha said, bodies buried like in a cloth. And this probably would be the boys because they're the only one that were buried in a box and when the box collapsed well the ground went down all right well let's see what we got let's hope we're gonna try to it might be a little windy uh, so. the wind is right here okay i'm gonna try to put myself right on here. spirit talker too just yeah, to yeah. The... okay are the banister brothers with me right now actually let me redo that do I have permission to douse on this land? Cross the rods if I do. It's not the wind, guys. It is not. Thank you. Can you uncross them? Thank you. Okay. Am I speaking with the Bannister brothers right now? So you cross the rods for yes, or you separate them for no. And when I say separate, I mean like this. So are you the Bannister brothers? Oh. No. Okay. Okay. Are you someone who is buried on these grounds? Okay. What if you were to ask them if okay. they can lead us That's to... That's my next question. Oh. <laughs> <In> my <head. laughs> can you point to me the direction of where you are buried? Are you buried in the dandelion field over there? I can't protect you. Ugh. 
Don't worry, I can protect myself. Are you buried right in front of me, in the dandelion field? Or right there? Oh, during the diet. Oh my god. During okay. the They're in front of you? They're somewhere anywhere from like here into the field. Because I see other depressions right here. If they're, if they're in the row that we see. If I were to take five steps in front of me, would I be close to you? I knew it. I knew yes. it. I knew okay. it. I'm gonna They're right here. One, two, three, four, five. Look, you have a depression. Then, yeah. There, you have depressions right here. I, I really, I don't mean to be disrespectful if I am standing on top of you. Me neither. I'm sorry if I stepped on you. And wow. Um, am I standing or are one of us standing over top of where we were there? There's some wind right now. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to. Try to let that pass. Cover, but even they don't move. So, am I standing or am I standing right near you? If I take two steps to the left, will I be closer to you? So that would be that depression right there. Right there. And you, can you feel the ground under your feet? It's yeah. kind of soggy. Yeah. I was standing right there and I feel the, 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 the ground. The ground right there, guys, is kind of squishy, and you see there's a depression on the ground, so... Sinister. Yeah, how they buried you is very sinister. How they didn't even give you markers is also very sinister. Yes. Um... Are there eight people buried near us right now? Keep getting the number eight. Fence? Yeah. Are you tapping the fence right now? Are you tapping the fence right now? And it's been... We, we had stronger winds and didn't hurt that. No, not at all. So, I know that you're buried here. Um, are you able to point me to where the brothers, the Banford brothers, are buried? Use these rods and point to me to where they are, please, if you can. Oh my god. You flung to the left. Okay, if I take five steps towards the fence, going three, will I be close to the brothers? SHHH, listen. Shh, listen. No, it, it's a shush. Shush, listen. Shush, listen. Remember last night? Yeah. Uh, the Estes method, I won't go too much into it because I want you to watch the other one, but. You kept saying, shh, shh. Yep. You shushed us. You shushed the fence, us. The fence just, just stopped. Yep. Ask if they're... Two, three, four, five. That's fairly close to the places that I... Yeah. That I yeah, freaking... Good call, man. Yeah, right there. It's squishy. The, the ground is soft right there. Am I? Am I? I'm so sorry if I am. Am I standing over top of the brothers? Oh. 
I knew it. Oh. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Last time we were here, when we were doing this. Did you say mom? Moan. Moan. Last time when we were here and we were doing this, 20 feet from the door led us to around right here. 20 feet. And I remember I was outside of the fence line. To this. Vicinity. This could be their vicinity. Right there. Whoa. So it may not be where you're standing, but like right in this vicinity. You were right here last time too, right? So that would be... If Bill had to do GPR, that would be the place to do GPR. Yeah. I just want to confirm. Am I in the vicinity of the Bannister Brothers burial ground? Thank you. Oh my god. Thank you so much for keeping What did the spirit talker say? Mabel. <gasps> Mabel. May Bannister. Mm. Were you trying to say Her real name is it Mabel Bannister? Because May could be a shortened for Mabel. <laughs> wow. If her name, we gotta Google that. If her name is Mabel. Bannister, man, I'm shitting myself. I just said yes. Dude. I like a really strong smell of like cologne or something. Do you boys drink cologne today? Not me. Are you I, I did, but. That doesn't smell like yours. I don't know though. Usually I put Lacoste, but I didn't put, I just put on the marpits. <laughs> It's kind of smell like fabric or something, but... They're not smelling something. Yeah. But, whoa. I'm going to go right there on the dark side. And I think... Oh, my God. Oh. Huh. Yep. Yep. There it is. There it is. You see Chelsea? So, in the cell, one of the cells was right here, well, where Bill put everything you saw. He and Natasha told us about the bars and the prisoner that got that killed a guard so yeah. yeah it's pretty compelling um i think we're having great evidence right there wow 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 natasha i think you have to come and see this i think we found the bannister brothers and remember uh, when you were telling me that they were looking directly when they were burying the bodies? I just went into um, the dark side, look out, and Chelsea's standing right where. Right there. The dowsing rods lay, led us to right there. 20 feet from the door. Right in line. Guess what? You don't see her during the daytime very often. You just saw her? The corner of her eye. The corner of my eye, she was just walking from like the bedroom here to see that tree is. That window Isabella. is right in line with the cell of the prisoner that escaped and killed that guard it's right in line with that one oh my. i was looking at that window i was looking right at you well standing on this bed probably standing on his bed yep but what if there would be people up there oh yeah um with the bunk beds. The well bunk beds even there. even from over there you would have seen it but this guy in his cell would have seen it. You're gonna have to 
talk to Ken. Was May Bannister Mabel? Mabel Bannister? Was it a real name? No, I don't think so. I can uh, I can look for you guys. Yeah. Oh, you okay? Because we had the name Mabel come in, and I say, was it Mabel Bannister? Was it short for May? Was it short for Mabel? And it said yes. <laughs> Me neither, I don't know, so... That was weird. That was weird. That was strange. So we figured out about seven feet from this post. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven is this divot. Right there. That, that rhubarb grows like crazy. Rhubarb? We got rhubarb in Estes last night. We never planted Oh, yeah. You never planted your rhubarb. It just grows like that every year. Wow. I'm pretty sure they would have probably like buried. Yeah. Twins. Oh! Even though they're 1921. Well, they were buried together. Yeah. Whoa. My theory was people that possibly passed away in the town, they're long dead now, right? What if those people found the boys in the afterlife and are preventing them for any sort of closure, even for us alive people to get any sort of closure? Well, to help them. To help. Buried here. It was someone else who's buried on the ground that told you the vicinity where they are. Well, yeah. I think they're asking for help. Last time, last night they were asking. Yeah, they were asking for help, yeah. They can't find my body. I got that right on the spirit. Wow. <laughs> Never a dull moment around here. No. no. I mean, Natasha is so used to all of this stuff right now, but when we come, it's just kind of like so fascinating to see and try and figure it out, you know? If Bill ever gets one of those ground radar companies to come through, you got to let us know. Oh, for sure. A GPR, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, a big hope of ours in the near future to be able to do that. Yeah. yeah. Just so you don't, you don't even need to tear it up, you can just see Just right? so I know where they are, so we can mark that part of the yard and say, hey, this is where they are. We can give them a cross or a marker just because this Exactly. And with the GPR, you're going to say, you're going to see how they are laid. So it's going to be easier, like, probably to, to mark on the ground, to be careful. This is, yeah. this is a tomb. Like, we're probably stepping on somebody right now. Very good possibility. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> Back oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> that was just, that was just the beginning. That was just the beginning, <laughs> because, yeah, when I start, when I go somewhere, it's like, okay, I have to go again. To go again. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's almost like every time you come here, they just amp it up just a little bit more. Yeah. Exactly. You know. Just releasing little bits more information just to entice you enough to get you back here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's amazing. And um, I'm going to link the Airbnb. You can actually stay in this jail. It's an Airbnb. Natasha will tour you around if you guys do plan on coming. She'll give you the whole rundown. She'll take good care of you. Yes. So I'm going to link that down below and um, go and show them some love and all that. So I'm mind blown. This does not let me down every time I come here. Does not nope. let me down at all. So I think that's a wrap. Peace out.